Max Kaiser, BBC host, RT, Press TV, uh, st retired stockbroker, inventor of the Hollywood Stock Exchange virtual trading system used on many stock exchanges today. He's been predicting that Papandreou would be forced to resign. This morning they said he would resign. Then he said, oh, I'll reshuffle the re government and may step down. Stocks in Europe drop for second day as Papandreou calls for confidence vote. Uh, we're going to break this down because most of the money's not owed by the people of Greece. Their criminal government has gotten them to sign on to it, just like the U.S. has done, just like Ireland, just like Iceland, until they said no. And it keeps coming out that it is total fraud. And so joining us from the middle of the revolution, the global revolt against the private banking cartel, is Max Kaiser uh, with a uh, surprise guest, uh, and, and uh, he'll introduce him to us here in a few minutes and tell him about us. Uh, but uh, Max Kaiser, big things happening. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, hey, Alex. I'm overlooking Constitution Square right now in Athens. Uh, you can see my shoulder here, the people that are gathered in front of the parliament building demanding that the current leadership resign uh, in the wake of all these massive financial scandals and banking scandals. The current government was caught committing high treason by uh, trading with the enemy in the credit default swap market. Uh, and now they want to uh, seek retribution. And last night, you should have seen it, Alex, it was quite exciting. Uh, the place erupted in a full-scale revolutionary spirit. Uh, our hotel was pelted with bricks. They were ripping bricks up off the pavement. They were throwing them at the hotel. Uh, our window uh, downstairs was smashed. Uh, we were huddled on the seventh floor of the building here as the, the mob, which was infiltrated by anarchists. And, of course, these were anarchists, actually policemen dressed up as anarchists to try to uh, create a false... Uh, anarchy movement is just. And by the way, you're not just saying that. National TV a, a year ago. Well, a, a year ago it was on national uh, Greek TV that special police units were dressed up as anarchists, breaking windows of middle class people to turn them against the overall movement. So that's been confirmed. Yeah, you're not just saying that uh, in Greece. The government's been caught there, as they have in the U.S. and Canada and England, provocateuring. Please continue, Max Kaiser. Yeah, we got footage, exclusive footage of the uh, the the fake anarchists, the uh, agent provocateurs, right underneath our building, uh, which we're holding on to right now until we leave the country because we got some faces on on screen. Uh, we'll be sharing that once we're out of town. Uh, but they were infiltrating the crowd. Uh, they were using huge amounts of tear gas. We got hit with tear gas last night, and I can tell you, it's very unpleasant to be caught up in a cloud of tear gas. Uh, it's quite stinging. Uh, and it's quite revolting. Uh, but we, the spirit is fantastic. I addressed a group of lawyers last night who were in the process of suing uh, Goldman Sachs. Uh, they're trying to subpoena uh, the uh, CEO of Goldman Sachs, Lloyd Blankfein, uh, for the, the crimes that he's committed, the banking crimes. Uh, Dr. Uh, Tobras, who is the, one of the key figures at his website, is a very important website. It's called stopspeculators.gr for Greece. He and his uh, partner, Nulis, are two lawyers that have gone against the status quo. They put their political careers on the line to fight the banksters. And, you know, you have on your site, Alex, this story about money markets in America could be hit with the U.S. banking crisis. I can tell you a little bit about that. Uh, that's, that is a very interesting story because all of the European banks that have bought the Greek bonds that are suffering as a result of the Greek uh, troubles... In actuality, uh, they sold, or I should say they bought insurance from American banks in the form of, of uh, credit default swaps. And now American banks are on the hook for $127 billion. So now they're putting out the story that, oh, American money markets are going to suffer as a result of Greek uh, tragedy on the bond That's market. how they but always that's hold us hostage with too big to fail. And notice three years later, it, uh, after the October fiasco of 08, things are only worse, not better. Now, now I want to talk to Jerry Akos Tobras of, of uh, StopSpeculators.gr after you introduce him. But, but, but Max, I could hear a, few, a minute ago chanting even up 15, 20 stories. It looks like you're pretty high up. I could even hear the chanting and the, and, and the sounds of the crowds through the sliding glass window. Well, I'm exactly, we are six stories high. Uh, yesterday we were uh, on the first story uh, and the, 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 uh, the bricks were being pelted at the uh, hotel and the, the front door was shattered. And um, 
It was quite a scene, uh, but Dr. Tobras is on his way here. I'm hoping that he can get here uh, in time. Okay, now listen, for Americans, Max, who are new listeners, because we're getting new affiliates every week now, big stations all over the United States, they're saying, why do I care about Greece? Why do they care about Portugal? Why do they care about Iceland? Why do they care uh, about uh, Ireland? Why is this fight important? Because for folks that don't know, most of the bailout money we now learn, quote, went to foreign banks. Well, these are really multinationals. So the people running America also run Europe. So it's all well, another head of the same hydra. And if they can be ousted and charged and indicted in Greece, in Portugal, in Ireland, in Iceland, in England, they can be brought down here. So this is a global fight against the banking cartel. Explain the crimes and, 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 and how Papandreou was taken over there and how Greece was engineered for implosion. So folks understand why important this fight is and the move towards him stepping down, why that's so important. Well, let me give you an exclusive, Alex. Uh, I, we arrived at the hotel yesterday, and I actually I went into the wrong hotel next door to me, and I bumped into Steve Forbes. Steve Forbes, of course, the son of Malcolm Forbes of Forbes magazine. Steve Forbes is here with the International Chamber of Commerce. The topic of discussion for their forum is selling the assets of Greece and sell those assets to foreign banks and the people who are creating the crisis. The crisis is made, is constructed by the banks to bleed this country into a point where they have to start selling their Yeah, the vultures are there for the fire sale, so, so he was perching wanting goodies. That's right, Steve. Now, I know Forbes' family going back 25 years. Malcolm Forbes had his boat parked in New York Harbor back in the 80s when I was a stockbroker. And so I ch chatted with Steve Forbes for a few minutes. And I said, Steve, you know, what's the deal here? And he said, Max, you know, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. We're going to get the, the airport, the lottery. We're going to get everything for pennies on the dollar. This is a fantastic opportunity for our private accounts Ugh. and all the people that have me. Incredible. Max, uh, did your Skype just cut out? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, Tabras? I don't see if the Oh, okay, he's getting the guest uh, uh, up to the room, which really, Kaiser's in the middle of it. Uh, yes, Kaiser was also in Iceland two years before they imploded it with Goldman Sachs and J.P. Morgan lawyers at the bar. Because, you know, he's a, quote, insider, so they talked to him bragging about how they were going to implode their economy. They get their operatives in, their alumni, into the... A finance ministership position, the presidents, the prime ministers, they do this in every country, and then they blow it out. It's just total fraud. This is incredible. So uh, Forbes was there, uh, uh, Max, like a vulture, literally rubbing his hands together to you, saying what a what a goody, goody gumdrop this was all going to be? Yeah, yeah. If you look up Steve Forbes, on, if you do a search, you'll find out in the International Chamber of Commerce. And, of course, you know, to answer your question, why is this important for people in the United States, you know, this is a test run, Alex. Uh, the groups that are stripping Greece for its assets and causing this financial holocaust using weapons of mass financial terror, uh, they're, gonna, they're using the same techniques in the U.S. to take over the highways and the income-producing assets of the U.S. All those things that were built by American taxpayers over the past decades are going to fall into the hands of the privateers and the private contractors. And that, that income uh, will have to be replaced somehow. And of course, that means that a lot more Americans will have to go to war and, and go to jail to pay for the uh, strip mining of these assets. And they're doing it as a test run here in Greece and in Ireland. And they're warming up for the big act because of course, America is the big pinata that they're gonna love to whack and to shake out all the goodies. And to, that'll go into private hands. and It'll completely be destroyed as a free, open, democratic capitalist society, and it'll just all those assets will flow into the hands of a few Wall Street bankers. And let's explain. They've got most of the mainline Republican hosts saying that big banks are good, they're free market, they're doing God's work. These are the opposite. It's always the big banks pushing carbon taxes, socialism for the public to then get us under their control and steal our money. Here's a microcosm example. Uh, Petra uh, Ecclestone, 22, got one, uh, got $4 billion from her daddy, who's worth $23 billion, and uh, almost all of his wealth uh, is from Formula One. And I looked him up because in Texas, they're about to give $250 million, or, and it'll probably go double that, of taxpayer money, just like these super domes they build, of my money. My, 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 my taxes here in Austin are going to this. She just bought a $150 million mansion, and, and the, the most expensive in America, 57,000 square feet. Uh, she's got another $100 million house. And this is just his 22-year-old daughter. And it turns out, all over the world, 
the, their racetracks are paid for. So, so this is the this is the crony capitalist class. They come in, they buy off your politicians, they give them all our money, and and uh, I mean, this is a good microcosm of this, isn't it? Yes, they use debt, Alex. That's the key. In other words, uh, the country of Greece was loaded up with uh, hundreds of billions of dollars worth of debt that was pushed onto their balance sheets with the with the um, with the the. the uh, uh, compliance of the very corrupt government and now they're saying they have to pay that debt and to pay the debt they want them to sell their assets but that debt was artificially pushed onto them to begin with it's the same thing we see in south america and latin america that was written about by john perkins in his book confessions of an economic hitman the same techniques are being used in greece and ireland and the same techniques will be used in america when america is having to suffer austerity measures to pay for the debt that debt was artificially created by Wall Street banks to make that situation happen as it's experienced today. And by the way, That's we have the IMF World Bank documents the BBC got in 2002. Yeah. This is not your opinion. These are, uh, briefly describe how they set this up three years ago with the prime minister, what they're now doing. I mean, that's, that's why the Greeks are so mad. It's in the news there. They know it's premeditated. Well, what happened was that the uh, postal service uh, was uh, loaded with credit default swaps, and the prime minister uh, got into a deal where he sold uh, for uh, roughly um, $1.3 billion uh, these credit default swaps that later turns out were flipped six months later for $27 billion into the, and put that money into the pockets of his cronies and friends. So that, that roughly $25 billion was taken out of the pockets of the Greek people. And now they're saying that they have to pay that $25 billion and other uh, liabilities as part of the austerity measures. Now, let's be clear. They the take problem. your money, give it to the bankers. The bankers steal it and then say, you owe us money for money we stole. Yeah. Now, I have one of the lawyers here. Uh, uh, sure. Introduce uh, him. Okay. Uh, can I introduce the guest? Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Newlaus is... Uh, He's on the front line of this. Have a seat, Mr. Newlaus. And then Max, just he's ask folks not to talk once he's on, because the people are talking in the background. Commentarian, and he's involved in this lawsuit now against uh, the government uh, attached to the, this credit default. I do, I do with Can you sit down? Yeah, of course. Did and you just say parliamentarian? Against the speculators and all these uh, persons who do terrorist, economic terrorists against Greece. And not only Greece, but Greece is uh, uh, the big, uh, the big, uh, the big market for for here for uh, for this uh, uh, terrorist economic terrorist. Well, sure. The, fir the first place Hitler invaded in the Mediterranean was Greece, uh, as you know. And now they're just invading with bankers. You're a former member of the Italian Parliament, Doctor. Uh, can you tell us the sense of Greece? When is well, your prime minister? Uh, when is he going to fall? I think uh, in a few days. Okay, we're, we're going to break in a moment. Give us a report. You've got the floor. Here is ready, is ready to do the next step. And the next step is to fight for uh, a better uh, situation for us, for uh, all the Greek people, uh, because we have all the power uh, to stop this terrorism, economic terrorism against us. Now, Alex, let me cut in here for a second. Uh, last night, I was a speaker in front of uh, this, uh, Mr. Newlis and Dr. Tobras, uh, in front of a group of lawyers in the legal uh, uh, forum here in Athens. And they were extremely upset and vocal, and they are mounting a serious case against Goldman Sachs yeah, and John uh, Paulson, the hedge fund manager with Lloyd Blankfein. They're looking to subpoena these guys, take them before a court of law, and get them in jail. The point of uh, Mr. Newlis and Dr. Tabras is to put the bankers in jail. Just like Henry Kissinger was chased out of Bilderberg, they're looking to chase uh, Lloyd Blankfein, uh, all over, wherever he hides, anywhere in the world, to put this guy in jail. He's a financial terrorist. That's it. Now, uh, can you speak about the... Uh, the yesterday, the if you want to, to speak for yesterday, um, we was in uh, the biggest um, association in Greece, who is the Association of Athens uh, Lawyers. Okay. And with the president of the Association of Lawyers in Athens, uh, also with the president of all the judges and the prosecutor of Greece, 
uh, and uh, also with a former uh, president of the Greek Parliament, Mr. George Shurlas. We do this uh, event yesterday, and our uh, conclusion is we have the weapons, we have uh, the power to go all these persons, political person, the politician, and also... Uh, doctor, we've got to go to break. Just, just, just stay there. We're back in three minutes uh, with Dr. Um, Jerry Ocoso Tobras, a former member of the uh, Parliament of Greece. And uh, Max Kaiser just spoke to their big, but basically their national uh, you know, lawyer association, like the National Bar, and they're going after the criminal bankers. I will be right back. He was able to make it up through the crowd, so I was announcing him as Dr. Tobras. It's George Nulis. Uh, sir, you've uh, you've got the floor, and, and Max, you can you know direct in the short five minute segment, and then we're going to go to break and come back uh, one minute later. Uh, basically, points that need to be made, but we're really interested in uh, the uh, the fact that the prime minister is admitting that he may step down very soon. They're reshuffling things, uh, and, the, and we're seeing reports that. Uh, th that that the people of Greece have really woken up to the fact that this was orchestrated fraud. So can uh, parliamentarian Nulis break down how it was orchestrated fraud? Uh, you say here in uh, before 15 months. Yes, the economic uh, terrorist. Yeah, that's it. So we have to do a special work and in uh, 600 pages we have dried all the responsible who makes all these games against the people. Uh, I want to mark this point. Uh, the responsible of the market group, I think it's uh, Samir Arkar, if I, I say it good. Say, I don't care about the Greeks because they ask. You don't care about these uh, persons. Uh, you destroy this social network, you destroy these civilians. I don't care about Greeks. It's his problem, it's, uh, it's their, their problem. I, care, I only care for the money. So that is the proposition of the people who destroy the social networks, is the, the proposition of the people who destroy the citizens. Well, after they're done destroying Greece, they're going to suck Germany dry, they're going to suck America dry. It's the first step. You see, the other steps is Portugal, Ireland, Spain, Italy, etc. Et and no, I think the same um, game that would be continued in other places of the world. And why not in the USA also? Huh? Oh, they're because already they're doing it. They're already doing it, sir. They're raising all yeah, our taxes. Let me cut in for a second. So, uh, Mr. Nulis, can you just explain that the Papandreou, the prime minister, mm -hmm. by engaging in the credit default swaps that he was engaged with, um, has committed, according to your group of lawyers, an act of treason? Yeah, the, I want to clarify that. Today, the responsible of uh, manipulate the Greek debt is Mr. Petros Christodoulou. Mr. Petros Christodoulou is, was a very important person in Goldman Sachs when in 2001 with the from, uh, foreign pro, uh, with uh, Prime Minister, Minister uh, Mr. Simitis, Costa Simitis, uh, do the swap who names uh, Titlos. With this swap, Greece goes to, into Euro zone. And uh, Mr. Christodoulou now manipulates all the deal uh, with the terrorist, with economic terrorist, with Goldman Sachs, with uh, Paulson, with Soros, and with the other people. The, you know this uh, economic terrorism uh, against states, citizens. And, uh, yes, they so came and hired your ministers as an inside job to bring you down, and we have the documents. And um, will Papandreou end up going to prison from those roaring crowds? It sounds like he better flee the country. I think uh, the people, in a few days, they shoot down this government. And also, the, the minister, the prime minister, 
the Minister of the Economics and Mr. Christodoulou. Stay there, Mayor. Parliamentarian Nula. Stay there, sir. I want to talk about this. Is this going to go the way of Romania? Nula's former member of parliament, a prominent lawyer, met with Kaiser and hundreds of other top lawyers moving forward with lawsuits against Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan. Um, Papandreou, first he said he would resign this morning. Now he's saying reshuffle the cabinet. Uh, obviously, uh, he's been trying to hold on to power. Uh, where do you go from here? I, I mean, he, he obviously, it, it, it's public that they made these inside deals. Uh, why doesn't the courts just go ahead and indict him? Why isn't he thrown into chains right now, uh, Mr. Nulis? Uh I think uh, the people start to understand because the game is very, very, very difficult to understand what happens. Uh, well, I am a specialized uh, lawyer. Uh, and also, I am uh, internationalist. I was uh, my job; it was in Brussels, uh, in the uh, European Council. And after I was now uh, for ten years, and I am a specialized uh, lawyer for economic affairs. So, so you specialize in this area? <laughs> yes, that's it. That's it. Okay, so, expanding on that. Then, where is it going? It's not familiarized uh, for the people, for the common people, this story. I want uh, to say something very important. You know, uh, uh, we pay for sign the deal with the IMF uh, and cost this deal 1 billion, third, third, uh, 300 million euros only to write the deal. It's impossible, unbelievable, but it's cost so many, many, many euros. And this euro is equal to 10 year cuts of the salary of the people. Yeah, unbelievable. Alex, unbelievable. Alex if, I can, unbelievable. if I can jump in for yes, a second. Yes, go ahead, Max. This is, the, this is the methodology that the banks use, and this is how they pay themselves. What, Newless, Mr. Newless is saying is they paid themselves a, over a billion dollar fee to That's create it. the memorandum with the That's IMF. It. It. The That's memorandum it. gives the IMF uh, control over the Greek assets above and beyond the Constitution. It, it's completely outside of the Constitution, so the government violated the Constitution. So the IMF, using the fake debt that they created, that they gave the banks in this country, are now saying through this IMF that they charge $1.2 billion fee to just sign the contract uh, to, that gives them rights above and beyond the Constitution. Now, you asked earlier why the people, why there's not, you know, chains, handcuffs being put on these uh, men right now. And there's something going on here. These, these politicians is extremely, uh, what you would describe as a crony capitalism. Uh, situation. There's extremely cozy relationships. So it's very important that the people doing what they're doing on the street, the politicians need to make the calculation that the will of the people is so great that their their political career would benefit by fulfilling the law and by putting these people in jail. And that's why these demonstrations are so important. That's why the people on the street doing what they're doing is so important. They're pushing the politicians to obey the law and to go forward. And this is what Mr. Newless is, is, is on the front line on the legal side. And he's working part and parcel with the people on the street. Now we've got Dr. Tobras has just arrived, Alex. I don't know how much time you have left there. Uh, if if uh, Dr. Tobras has arrived, we'll come back. You know, the, these are short segments at the end and start of the hour. We'll come back and have you introduce him. Then I've got a few final questions because this affects all of us here in the United States. But you'll need to get Dr. Tobras a little bit closer to the mic uh, because with uh, George Nulis, he, he was a little bit, uh, his audio wasn't being picked up sometimes. We may have to reconnect with Skype, but we're going to go to break, come back, finish up lines globally of the fight against the mega central banks, the eight banking families. It's on record, mainstream news, uh, news in the U.S. that Goldman Sachs predominantly, but also J.P. Morgan and others, went in uh, three years ago and uh, basically put their people into the government, the finance minister, uh, the um, prime minister, George Papandreou, 
and that they engineered the implosion of the economy, uh, tying it into the derivative debts, uh, most of which is not owed by the population. And Iceland said no, and they finally got the documents and learned that over 90% was not owed by the government, but was owed by the very central banks claiming that they owed them the money. They create fraudulent systems and then tie the national pension funds to it. That's an oversimplification, uh, but, but, but that's part of the scam. Now, you're saying, why do you care about this? Because the euro will go under, uh, if they're unable to secure and gobble up Greece. Remember, Ireland just two years ago was the wealthiest and fastest growing per capita, fastest growing, not wealthiest, Switzerland's that, country in Europe. They're brought into the EU, the receivership contract, suddenly they're bankrupted, they're told that they've got to raise their taxes, cut their benefits. Then it was confirmed in BBC that most of the money's not owed by them. It's private banks taking over their economic conquest and economic terrorism. Max Kaiser joins us from Athens, above the parliament, six stories up. You can hear the crowds chanting from time to time, even through the sliding glass doors. It's that powerful street battles, attacks, provocateur police that Max has confirmed. They caught him a few years ago in Greece, um, attacking peaceful people and blaming it on the demonstrators and attacking middle-class neighborhoods. Uh, so they are in the middle of Bedlam. We're talking to a former member of parliament there, George Newlis. Now uh, the gentleman uh, has gotten there, Dr. Tobras, uh, who is an economist, and he's there with Max Kaiser. Uh, Max, this is historical what's happening. The New World Order falls if they can't gobble up Greece. Is that an overstatement or is that accurate? No, I think that's accurate, Alec. The, the, Greece is really ground zero. Uh, they are uh, the pin that needs to stay up. Uh, we don't want Greece to go down. Dr. Tobras, journalist, economist, he's working with Mr. Newlis, uh, getting the word out to the public. And uh, so I want to bring Dr. Tobras to this, and he can talk about uh, what, he's, what, he's, what, he, what they've discovered in terms of the role that Goldman Sachs and others have played in the trees and in, in the financial uh, scandal. So let me turn it over to Dr. Good. Tobras. Good. Make sure he speaks up like you're doing. Go ahead. Okay, good afternoon. How are you? Good, sir. Thank you for having us. So, uh, uh, break down uh, the lawsuit being filed and the evidence you have. Yes. Uh, this lawsuit started on April 2010. We started out together with uh, the lawyer, Greek lawyer, Mr. Nulas, uh, with whom we are partners in this case. And we started that because we discovered that the debt of the Greek government today on its 70%, it is an accumulation of years of interests because we paid out this capital for so many times and for the next of, of our lives, uh, we have to pay capitalizations of interest and nothing more. This debt, what this government has, it was accumulated by the years by swaps on swaps and again swap up. This is a debt of swaps and nothing else. So it's derivative based. It's derivative based. It is also derivative based. But in any case, the debt of the Greek government as the major parts of the debts here in the southern uh, Europe, let's say in the peaks, okay, it is a scam All the debt itself because it was used for years for the governments to help the issuers of this debt to issue money, you understand? Because debt today, it is a necessary instrument for the central banks to issue money. You know very well that because uh, in the recent uh, years, after the 50s, let's say, the gold system is not existing anymore. That means there is not any gold collateral on the money issue. The governments, they discover the government debt in order to the central banks to issue the money. This is a scam. This is a very big scam that all the countries are involved. And what happened here in Greece with the crisis after 2010, when the problem started, it is exactly the same game what happened in the United States with the case of Lehman Brothers and AIG, the same thing. CDS on CDOs. Here we have CDS on government bonds. The game is the same. The people who make the game are the same. The fraud is the same, the scam is the same, so all of us will have to revolt because we don't have to pay this debt. Let, let me cut in here, Alex, for a second, just a couple yes. of points. Number, number one, the comparison to Lehman Brothers and AIG is a good comparison. In other words, the counterparty risk, as they describe it, the uh, billions and billions of debts that are owned uh, inter 
The company sold the fraud to the government, so it's their fraud. We don't owe it because they induced us into fraud. They go to prison. The debts are written off. But if they induce us to pay off the fraud, they become our owners through fraud. They, essentially, it's a, it's a daisy chain of fraud. And if one goes down, in this case, Greece, you have another financial collapse like you had in 2008. Now, to get back to what Dr. Tabras was saying originally in terms of the debt and the layering of the debt, in other words, what, what they have discovered through their, to their, to their discovery process is that the same multi-billion dollar tranche of debt with interest attached to it was resold over and over and over again, the same piece of debt. So they're saying that you sold us that originally. Now we've discovered that you've sold us the same debt 10, 15, 20, 30 times, and you're charging us 30 times the interest on the same piece of debt. You're so selling us our own supposed debt back over and over again, and that's how you get bizarreisms like Bank of America foreclosing on a million-dollar house they never owned or had a deed to, and it was paid for in cash. It's just pure criminal evil. Yeah, so uh, Greece then becomes, as I mentioned at the top of the show, the European banks own the Greek debt that is going to go down. However, the European banks bought insurance on their debt in the form of credit default swaps that were sold to them by American banks. So if they're, what their American banks are trying to do is to bleed Greece to death without an outright default. Because it's a game that they're playing, a very high stakes global risk game. If Greece outright defaults, then American banks are going to go under in a huge way because they own the insurance on the debt. So they're trying to bleed Greece to death without it going into outright default. And, and, and Max, a lot, of, a lot of unsophisticated Americans or others may say, well, good, let's bleed then, that'll help us. No, the banksters will then continue the next phase against us. This is going to be painful either way. It's time to default on it all, bring the bankers down, arrest them, Remonetize the system, as Ron Paul has said, through proper congressionally controlled money. It's time for the Federal Reserve, Global Soros Crime Syndicate to go down. You know, they're holding us hostage, saying too big to fail. It's going to hurt, but it's going to hurt worse if we let this monster pull us down with it. That's, uh, that's right. And as we described it earlier, right next door to this hotel is another hotel where Steve Forbes and the International Chamber of Commerce are licking their chops. 50 feet from the rock-throwing protesters discussing how to carve up the assets of Greece. You saw this as well, Dr. Tabras. Yes, yes. They, make, they did a meeting here uh, in the first months of 2010 of January. Uh, they, they, they called here all the international sharks of the market. You know them. All of them, they were here. Uh, Paulson Fund, Soros, all of them. And they organized first how to collapse the Greek market, how to manipulate this market, and then following the same formula of what they did in Greece, they start making the same game all around Europe. They did the same on Portugal, on Ireland, and they will follow with that even in Spain and in Italy. Don't worry, they will do it. Remember, Alex, in Iceland, six months before it collapsed, I made a film about the collapse of Iceland, and I met with the Lehman brokers and other Wall Street brokers discussing the collapse of the country and the currency and how they were going to profit from it. And that's what they do. They collapse countries now to profit from the collapse using these derivatives and short sales and naked short sales. And, um, and, and as they get bigger, and as you go through the chain of events, you go take down a Greece, then an Ireland, then you go after a Spain, which is a big, a lot bigger. A big juicy. And you, be you become a monster, and then you can attack Great Britain. You can actually go after the America, and that's the end game. Absolutely, and, and they've stated all of this, and they need to be clapped in irons immediately. These are economic terrorists. But, but here's the good news, and I want to get uh, uh, Dr. Tobras's take and your take on this in closing. we got three minutes left, Max. This has been very historical, uh, the reportage here today, and I want to thank you for giving us these exclusives here at Infowars.com, the syndicated broadcast. It looks like they're failing in Greece. What does it mean that the prime minister has set the step down? Uh, where do we go from here? Oh, the Prime Minister will say, Prime Minister, don't worry, nothing will change here. Because unfortunately, it's not the Greek people that decides, it's not the Greek parliament that decides. They just following orders coming from abroad. They are just following orders coming from international banks and speculators. This is a game and today, believe me, what happened in, this, in the Greek parliament today and yesterday was, was a shame against democracy because Yesterday, uh, all uh, deputies, they couldn't enter in the parliament because people 
were outside and they were really angry, believe me. And they make some uh, something just to, to, to make to the people to think uh, that something different could happen today. But today, Prime Minister was again in the parliament. He spoke again to his deputies, to his parliamentary team, and he said simply that nothing will change. We have to pay all these derivatives debts. We have to continue to pay for all our lives, and nothing will change. That is a game. Unfortunately, but but from, from what I get in the news, this uh, the European markets are crashing, and that and a lot of experts are thinking that uh, Greece is going to uh, default uh, openly. I mean, isn't that what we're looking for here, uh, Max? Well, a lot of the a lot of the volatility is is uh, induced to create trading opportunities. Yeah. Who are people, and we saw this in the Citibank story, you can look up from a couple of weeks ago, they spread a false rumor to create volatility, to profit from the volatility. There's a lot of false rumors going on in the markets to create wild swings. No, no, swings. I understand, wild swings, but but overall, Greece is standing up. There, there Nobody has uh, got the illusions, fake illusions here, Alex. This is a street fright, a fight. This is a brawl, and uh, the people are bare-knuckling it. And there's, there's blood in the streets here, I can tell you firsthand. And they're not going to go away, but it's not going to be an easy fight, Alex. All right, the fight is on. Thank you, Max Kaiser. Thank you, Dr. Tobras.